Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray Star Goddess and I'm here to do your what should you expect to see during cancer season. Um, before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to this channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at Justina Jackson? Personal readings are available. Email me at divinelyguided2 at gmail.com. Check out my course, Learn Tarot for Beginners. It's on udemy.com. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. Spirit, what should the collective expect to see during cancer season? Spirit, what should the collective expect to see during cancer season? Somebody going to have a really good 4th of July. Or somebody celebrating 4th of July. I see some good news coming in to a, so, like a boss, a boss, a supervisor, a lead, a divine masculine or divine feminine. I see y'all receiving some really good news. And then the ones that um, practice alchemy, spirituality, the ones that do uh, spells, maybe money spells, love spells, rituals or something. I feel like you're going to see, like, whatever you've been putting in the ethers, like, whatever you've been conjuring up or said this is some type of money spell, for example, I feel like you're going to see results. Be aware of seeing results of, I heard what you wrote down. So, say if someone been writing down things, Say if somebody have like a, a manifestation journal or say if someone, um, whatever you do, like say if somebody shit pray, um, you know, to source God, Jesus, whoever you pray to for, for miracles or whatever, be aware of seeing some type of miracles coming in during cancer season. For like cancer season, um, y'all going to be happy. Or you're going to be pleased with some type of results, the ones that practice rituals, rich, 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 witchcraft, or something like that. I heard positive. So if y'all, like, say if y'all do witchcraft, but it's like for positive stuff, you're going to see that coming to your fruition. But the ones that's doing negative shit, black magic and stuff, no, that's not going to work for you. What to expect during cancer season? Be aware of what's going on at work. Somebody could be trying to fuck you over at work. Uh, for example, they not paying you all your money, <laughs> right? Or they cutting your hours down. Be aware of getting fucked over, screwed over at work. Um... Be aware. Somebody could be doing something while another person is at work. So, like, say if somebody is dating or somebody's in a, a commitment while you at work, your partner is doing God knows what. Uh, they definitely somebody's being sneaky. I'm gonna just say sneaky. I don't know what this person is doing. But they definitely being sneaky while somebody is at work. Whoever I'm picking up on, they definitely have children. Somebody definitely have kids. Okay. Um, while somebody is at work, I'm getting like the worker. Whoever works, somebody could be like a single mom or a single dad. Or it's like somebody have kids by somebody else. But they in some type of partnership with a whole nother man or a whole nother woman. That person right there, they being sneaky. Somebody is definitely being sneaky and doing stuff while you're away. Especially at work. I see during cancer season, somebody kid may pick up a job. I see a kid doing something. Maybe a summer job, a part-time job or something like that. Okay, 
during cancer season, somebody may get married or somebody may get proposed to. If somebody get married or get proposed to, my advice, like say if this is your person of interest or ex-lover or your baby daddy or baby mama, they uh, moved on to somebody else, my advice to you is don't show no emotion. Don't show that you care. Shit. Even say like congratulations. I feel like by you saying congratulations or you showing like you don't care about what's going on in somebody else's relationship, this is going to be like a victory for you by you not showing that you're affected by a person getting married or they getting proposed to. It's going to be some shit like somebody, oh, okay, sneaky. Um, somebody could be doing something out of spite. So another message I'm getting during cancer season, somebody could be doing something out of spite. So be aware of like a lover or ex-lover or like your baby mama or baby daddy, they doing something. They doing something out of spite. But by you not reacting or you not sh showing like you care, it's, it's like the energy is going to re reverse back to them. So whoever I'm picking up on, they embody this negative toxic energy like, yes, I'm going to propose to my, my side bitch and I'm going to make collective jealous yes 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 and it's like collective when you find this information out you're gonna be like okay you know congratulations Ooh, invite me to the wedding right by you having that type of attitude it's gonna go from your ex-lover or your old lover being like happy about rubbing this shit in your face to now this person they're gonna be in their feelings it's gonna it's something is um reversing back to the sender like they they gonna be in their feelings that you don't care about them moving on this is like the last whoever doing this this is like the last resort for them how they feel they feel like you know i don't want to propose to this person i don't want to get married to this person but i gotta do this because i need to know how collective feel about me and if i was to propose or if i was to really get married and if my baby mama or my baby daddy or if my ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, if they was to reach out to me, cussing me out, motherfucker, you really getting married to that bitch? Like, say if you was to do that, according to them, they feel like, okay, that means they really care about me. So if you don't, like, reach out to this person or if you don't show no signs of emotions, it's going to really eat at them because they feel like, Hold on, wait a minute. So my baby mama, my baby daddy, or my ex-girlfriend, my ex-boyfriend, they never, they never cared about me. Like, this is like the ultimate betrayal that I'm marrying somebody or I'm proposing to somebody. So this is like the ultimate betrayal. This is like the, the ultimate hurt that I can do to them. And by them not showing that they care about me, ah! This this shit gonna eat eat them up alive. Period. Somebody planned. It's not gonna go as they planned. Cause they plan is okay. I'm gonna get married. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And this gonna show if collective really fuck with me or not. And then by you still not showing no emotions, this going to really make them want you even more. Be aware of this. It's like your, I heard this, your rejection is what, is why this person wants you even more. Because you don't, this, if y'all take my advice, if, if, this is if y'all don't show no signs of emotion. I heard I'm happy for you, even if you do talk to this person. Oh, my God, I'm so happy for y'all. Congratulations. Because I heard put up a fight. Somebody wants you to put up a fight. And it's like, by you not putting up a fight, somebody can't fathom, they can't handle you not wanting them. They just desperately want you to want them. 
and they feel like this could be some type of triangulation too it's like by them getting with somebody else all this is for they just want you to want them see look this other person that i'm by, that i'm with that i'm getting ma married to or that i propose to see look they want me ha ha and you don't want me ha ha look at this person I, they want me it's like to rub it in your face or something. You don't have to want me, but they do. Ha ha. And it's supposed to make you jealous or mad. But really, somebody still, they still gonna be unsatisfied. Whoever y'all person or this person I'm picking up on. Somebody may get invited to a party. Somebody may get invited to a party during cancer season. It's two ways I can read this. Somebody gonna get invited to a party. If you turn this party down, if you turn this invitation down and don't go, group one, if you don't go to this party, you, I mean, it was a, a good thing that you didn't go. Cause some something could have happened or this party wasn't all that to begin with or did nobody show up or something and then group two be aware somebody purposely didn't invite you to a party somebody purposely didn't invite you be aware of this if you see this online or something, or if it's word of mouth. Feel like somebody purposely didn't invite you, and it's like once you find out about this party, somebody gonna be uh, strategic on what they post. Like if this is online, if you find out somebody had a party online and you know this person, they gonna be strategic on how they post and what they post, because they want you to be in your feelings that you wasn't there. Somebody gonna make a, a party look more lit than what it was. I'm getting like a party or some type of celebration. It's like, honestly, these people was just really sitting down the whole time. Like it wasn't nothing spectacular. But when they pull out their cameras, once when the cameras start rolling, everybody gonna be, ah! And it's going this is supposed to make you feel some type of way like damn that party looked lit and he or she didn't invite me fuck them but this is like strategically done like somebody purposely want to make you feel left out be aware of this in cancer season somebody purposely feel like they purposely not including you Somebody could be even waiting for you to like reach out to them. Hey girl, uh, what's up bro? Are you going out? What y'all doing? What you doing? Yeah, I'm going out. Where you going? Oh, can I come? Somebody could be waiting for you to like invite yourself or mm. Somebody is definitely doing something. Be aware of this. Another message I'm getting, if I'm picking up a man, a man needs to be aware that a woman is being sneaky and conniving while he's away at work.
I have underage dating. Somebody to be aware in cancer season, I see like an older man looking at a child or looking at a teenager. Or it's going to be an older man, they looking at like a damn, whoever this older man is, they could be like in their 30s, 40s, or 50s. But the person they looking at, this person could be like, I heard 23, a 23-year-old. I have this out here too. I don't know if this is summer school, but I just heard this. I feel like um I have like a male teacher. I feel like a male teacher is looking at a female student. They like a female student. Another message I'm getting, somebody, I, I said this in one of my readings um, I done maybe last week. I see like a coworker. Somebody coworker could like you. I feel like somebody be watching you while you're working. You don't know that this person even looking at you. I feel like somebody be watching you. Somebody could wear glasses. Or they don't have to, but like somebody be watching another person while they at work. Something inappropriate is going on, like um be aware of this. It, it's like while you're getting ready for work, somebody could be like watching you, looking in your window. <laughs> it, it's something inappropriate. Or like, as you're working, it's like sexual harassment, but it's like, don't nobody know that this person is doing this. I got this out here, too. Somebody purposely stay at work later, like real late. Like, purposely work overtime to avoid going home or something. Or avoid dealing with the kids or a child. I heard the mother of the child. I have this out here too, y'all. Be aware, I feel like somebody kid, it could be somebody kid being sneaky. Like this person, whoever somebody kid is, it's like when you not looking, they be drinking yo Don Julio. They be drinking your Hennessy. They be smoking your cigarettes when you not looking or when you not around. They be sneaking food and they doing something. <laughs> somebody kid. First message, I feel like y'all could have some type of Maybe a stalker or, you know, this person got a crush on you to where they they watch you or something like that. But it's kind of inappropriate. Somebody's doing something inappropriately at work. Um, or like a coworker like y'all or something. And then another message I'm getting, somebody may want to invite you to their party. 
but they know like they other bitch gonna be there or they other dude gonna be there <laughs> and they know like okay if i invite collective to my party and i know that i mess with old old girl i know old girl gonna be there and old girl gonna be watching me like a hawk and then I'm not going to be able to interact with Collective the way I want to because I know, oh, girl, crazy behind me. It's some shit like this. Somebody definitely having some type of party. Some type of party, kickback, gathering, something. Birthday party, this is what to expect during cancer season. And it's like somebody want to invite you to their party, but they know they got their other hoes there. And they don't want to start conflict, or they don't want to raise <clears throat> they don't want to raise eyebrows. Mm hmm. I have this out here too. Somebody could be threatened by you, collective. Um, I feel like somebody, if this is social media, because I got the two of wands, and if y'all see this card, this woman, they got a cell phone in their hand. If this so social media, a couple of bitches looked you up, a few of them, in regards to a king of cups, bitch, in regards to like a man, or if you a man, just flip it. Two different dudes look you up in regards to a woman. I feel like two different, two different females or two different dudes look y'all up in regards to another person. gossiping too so okay this is some tea i feel like two different so this is on some social media type shit like facebook instagram where you can screenshot people pictures and videos or something where you can screenshot it and get away with it um i feel like two different women or two different dudes. So who somebody could be dating multiple people or conversing with multiple people. And two different women or two different dudes, they found out about you. I heard suspect. They could feel like they this man or this woman is messing around with you. But the T is that I feel like these two, because I said it's two different dudes or two different women. I feel like these people don't even know about each other. Because it's like your person or whoever this person is, they date, you know, they could be dating multiple people or they got like multiple girlfriends or some shit. I don't know, but the energy I'm picking up on, I feel like don't nobody, because I have a, a moon right here. So I feel like it's two different women or two different dudes. They trying to do their research or homework on you. Meanwhile, these two people don't even know about each other. But they know about you, or they suspect that they person mess with you or something like that. I don't know. This for somebody. <laughs> this for somebody. I heard radar. I feel like you on somebody radar. I feel like two different people look you up, but one of these women or one of these dudes in particular, you on their radar. Like, yeah, bitch, I didn't find no information or I didn't see anything out the ordinary, but let me keep my eye on collective, though. Let me keep my eye on them. And then the other woman or the other man, remember I said it's two people that look you up or did some research or they curious about you. I feel like the other person, they look you up, and they like, okay, whatever. They forgot about you afterwards. But one of these people, the other person, you on their radar. Something is suspect or something is off. 
it's like a like a prime example of this. Say if you follow somebody. Say if you follow a person on Instagram and whoever this person is, the people they mess around with or a, a person they in a relationship with, they monitor this person's followers. And they seen, like for example, say if you was their last follower or you was their last five followers, they went through this man followers or they, they friend list or something and they look you up and they feel like, okay, yeah, I mean, I don't see nothing out the ordinary. I don't see no heart emojis, and I don't see no likes or nothing like that. But I'm not going to forget about this person. This person, which is collective, like, yeah, they on my radar. Yeah, bitch, I see you. Yeah, it's something like this. Somebody needs to be aware of this. Somebody definitely, well, multiple people definitely know about you. Or they feel like they, they feel like they feel as though you do know they man or they girl or you are messing around with them or something. Somebody could actually be engaged, or somebody could be in like a a, a low. Somebody could be in like a low key relationship. Like somebody, whoever this man or this woman is, they could already have somebody that don't nobody know about. Or it, it's like, if this is social media, it's like on social media, this person looks single, but the T is that this person is really in some type of commitment or some type of connection. And I feel like only a handful of people know that these people are together. Meanwhile, this person, they know about you, but it's like a, a whole nother dude or a whole nother bitch that they don't even know about that they, they that their person is ma messing around with as well. I know it's kind of confusing, but yeah, that's energy. I hope y'all understood me, but that it, it's some type of messy situation going on here. Yeah, you on somebody radar. I heard radar. I heard that word. Be aware of this. What to expect during cancer season? I heard I got my eye on you. I see you, bitch. It's, yeah, it's like. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, that's all I have for this reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.